Hello everyone and welcome to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Now this is going to be a bit more of a short and sweet video because I'm just concentrating on showing you uh, the stabilization feature in Final Cut Pro. Now this is something that I use in every clip um, of my footage when I'm using the drone because um, it, it, however good you think your footage is, sometimes just adding that stabilization makes it look a little bit smoother and a little bit more professional. Now, um, when you look at this clip, you'll see how, if I start it from quite early on, there's quite a lot of camera movement. I'm yawing, it's left to right, could be because of the wind, it could be because of the sensitivity that I've got on the drone. But what I was trying to do is capture the train going over this bridge, and you can see it's just moving left to right. Oh, and then suddenly it's like focusing on the train, so it looks really, really bad. Now, the first thing is to try and cut out as much of the rubbish as possible. So, as you can see before here, it's moving left to right, it looks bad. So, it looks good from there. So, I'm going to cut it about there. Delete that. So, let's see how it starts. Yeah, there. Again, it's moving left to right. And then we're going to cut it off uh, there. So, let's cut that. Right, now this is where the magic happens. So, as long as you have your inspector open, scroll down and you want to click stabilization. Now, straight away that zoomed in a little bit, that's because it's doing, um, it's going to have to crop and rotate. Uh, you can see it's rendering up in this top corner here. So, it's analyzing and it's going to render out the scene. Um, now, one thing is uh, when you click this, it straight away goes to automatic. There we go, and it's finished. All right, so as you can see, it says automatic. The smoothing is set to one. Now, automatic allows Final Cut Pro to choose the most appropriate stabilization method it thinks is best. Now, you have got other options. I'm not really going to go into these, but I'll just give you a quick background on what they are. So, inertia cam it applies the stabilization, but it's optimized for the video footage that has um, camera moves such as pans and zooms. Now, um, you can use, once you've got that selected, you can use the smoothing slider to adjust the amount of inertia cam uh, effect. But one thing to note is when you use the um, inertia cam in Final Cut Pro, it analyzes your video footage and depending on the result of the analysis, uh, it provides then a tripod mode. Um, if you tick this, it creates the effect of a static camera uh, mounted on a tripod, but something like this where the drone is flying in the air, that's obviously inappropriate, so we don't need that. And the other option is smooth cam. Now, um, that applies the default stabilization method as described before in the automatic, but it allows you to adjust the translation, the rotation, and the scale parameters. Now, I generally keep this in automatic, I think it does a brilliant job on its own. I don't need to say how much rotation uh, than it needs. The only thing I do is maybe increase the smoothing. Now, um, if we replay this scene, you can already see that it is taking effect. It do, you can still it's still moving left to right a little bit, but it's keeping track of the train much much better now. What I'll do is I'm gonna up that to two. Let this render out again. I'll fast forward this bit. Right, cool, and it's done. So now if I go back and play that scene, you can see it's not moving left to right, it's really smooth, it's focused in on the train and it slowly moves over to the left. So much better than it was when it didn't have the stabilization. If I hadn't used that, it looked really unprofessional, it's not pleasing on the eye. Such a simple thing to do and Final Cut Pro having this stabilization feature is brilliant. Like I said, I use it on everything. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you the difference between without the stabilization and the stabilization and you can see how much more improved that is and I advise everyone who uses um, Final Cut Pro or of a different software to use a stabilization. I think it's brilliant. So once you've done this, um, you can use my tutorial if you like to create like this kind of look. So once I've done it, you can see it's got nice color grading, it's got the letterbox cinematic look and a vignette and the stabilization. All in all, creates a really nice, really nice scene. Um, you can find that tutorial by clicking up, up here in this top right hand corner. I will put that in. So if you click on there, go and see that tutorial. I hope this has helped you all. It's something that I highly recommend you use. 
Um, thanks everyone for watching. If you've liked this video, as always, please leave me a like, leave any comments, always really appreciated. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for future videos. Thanks, bye.